Hello everyone. Good evening. Welcome to Five Minutes Physics Series. So in this lecture, I am going to explain about uh, energy band, different type of energy band like valence band and conduction band, and we'll talk about energy gap and we'll discuss uh, or we'll classify semiconductor, insulator, and conductor on the basis of energy gap. So without wasting time, we'll start this session. My name is SRP, and you are watching my beautiful channel, Love Your Science. So let's start. So first is energy band. Energy band, kya hota hai? देखो एनर्जी बैंड इज अ बंच ऑफ एनर्जी लेवल और यू कैन से रेंज ऑफ एनर्जी पोजेस्ड बाय एन इलेक्ट्रॉन इन एट सॉलिड सो लेट मी राइट द डेफिनेशन द रेंज ऑफ एनर्जी पोजेस्ड बाय एन इलेक्ट्रॉन बाय एन इलेक्ट्रॉन इन सॉलिड दैट इज द एक्चुअल डेफिनेशन ऑफ एनर्जी बैंड Or we can write a bunch of energy level, bunch of energy level. So can you tell me? Uh, can we get energy band in isolated atom or a single atom? The answer is no, because as you know, according to Bohr's theory, electron revolves around the nucleus in different orbit, and you know that electron will have a definite amount of energy for a particular orbit. so here the nature of energy level is discrete the nature of energy level is discrete but if you talk about solid if you talk about crystal if you talk about compound so there will be the overlapping of orbit that's why we can get a range of energy level or a bunch of energy level that range of energy level we can say it is energy band Or you can say this bunch of energy level possessed by an electron in solid is called energy band. Is it clear? So, I mean, energy band you will get in solid. So, energy band are two type. Energy band are two type. One is valence band. Second is conduction band. The first one is valence band, and second one is conduction band. is bb and this one is cb valence band kya hota hai the range of uh, the range of energy possessed by the valence electron the range of energy possessed by an electron by an valence electron by valence electron that is called valence band okay so if i draw the diagram if i take energy in this axis okay so this one is your valence band and this this one is conduction band and the gap between upper level of valence band and lower level of conduction band is called energy gap is called energy gap again i repeat there are two type of energy band valence band and conduction band the gap between upper level of valence band and lower level of conduction band is called energy gap so coming to the conduction band all the electrons in the conduction band are absolutely free again i repeat all the electrons in conduction band in solid are absolutely free so these electron can be removed by the influence of small external voltage or energy then it can easily conduct or you can say that electron can be removed by the influence of external voltage for conduction full conduction clear so if there is no electron in the conduction band that solid will act as insulator if there is no electron in the conduction band it will act as insulator i hope it is clear energy band are two type valence band and conduction band valence band kya hota hai range of energy possessed by the electron valence electron but conduction <coughs> conduction band kya hai that conduction band band lies above the valence band and the gap between two band is energy gap or you can say upper level of valence band and lower level of conduction band that is called energy gap so based on this energy gap we can classify solid in three categories Insulator, semiconductor, and conductor. Okay. So next we will discuss 
the classification of solid based on energy band classification of solid based on energy gap so as you know there are three type of solid insulator semiconductor and conductor so you can classify insulator semiconductor conductor based on energy gap so in case of insulator the energy gap the energy gap is more than 3 electron volt this one is conduction band this is valence band the gap between the two band is called energy gap energy gap is more than 3 electron volt in case of insulator but in case of semiconductor the energy gap is a conduction band a valence band a energy axis a energy axis so this gap is the gap the energy gap is less than 3 electron volt or in between 0 to 3 electron volt but in case of conductor the valence band overlap with conduction band or you can say the energy gap is almost 0 again i repeat we can classify solid in three categories insulator semiconductor and conductor based on the energy gap in case of insulator the energy gap is more than 3 electron volt but in case of semiconductor energy gap is in between 0 to 3 electron volt for silicon as you know semiconducting element are silicon and germanium group 14 element tetravalent atom so in silicon the energy gap is 1.1 electron volt in germanium it will be 0 0.7 electron volt right but in case of conductor the energy gap is almost zero right so now one question you may ask sir carbon is a tetravalent atom that comes under group 14 element why it is not uh, coming under semiconductor because carbon the energy gap of carbon is more than 5.5 electron volt the energy gap of carbon is more than 5.5 electron volt that's why that that will not come under semiconductor so with this uh, i'm ending this lecture hope you guys understood uh, what i've explained today so thank you so much for watching and thank you